This is the Excalibur Sword, and it is the best mid-game weapon that you can get in your first playthrough on Final Fantasy 16. And just look how amazing this weapon is. And if you want to know what the stats are, it is going to be 268 damage and 268 stagger damage, which is absolutely insane. There is no other sword that you could obtain in the mid-game that is going to be better than this one. Let's show you how to get Excalibur so you can start slaying monsters in your game. Before we continue, let me talk to you about the prerequisite that is required for you to start this quest. You need to be able to finish main quest number 47, which is called Letting Off Steam number 3. This is going to involve completing some quests for the character mid. Once you complete this, you will unlock the Blacksmith Blues 2 side quest. Now, in order to get started on the Blacksmith 2 side quest, you're going to have to head over to Clive's room. In Clive's room, then go ahead and read his missives and you'll find a quest that says about Blackthorn. You'll see a letter sent to you from August. After reading this, make sure to accept the quest that shows up, which will be called Blacksmith Blues 2, which gives you 30 reputation. Prioritize that quest and then head over to Blackthorn. And Blackthorn's luckily right outside of your room when when you make a left. When you speak to Blackthorn, you'll talk about August being completely worried. Then Blackthorn talks about a metal that is so sharp and he can't stop thinking about it and how they can arm curse breakers and all that. Clive doesn't want our master blacksmith to be distracted, so you go on your adventure. So after talking about a specific sharp sword, you're going to head over to Sharon and talk to her. Once you talk to Sharon, she's going to mention that you need to find a man named Ignac and he's going to be in Dalamil. So at this point, just go ahead and open up your world map and hover over the Dolly Mill Inn and select it. Once you're there, head right inside of the inn that is close by. When you're inside, make sure to go upstairs. And when you get to the top, go further down to the doors. I'm checking every door here. And then a cutscene will enable, showing there's our person that we have to talk to about his reputation being ruined. And pretty much you're gonna have the old man talk to you about the Lord going through a difficult time. And he's gonna talk to you about thieves that rob the Lord. So the Lord is a little stressed out, Mr. Dalamil. So you're going to hunt these thieves down and they're gonna be located in the desert. There is an obelisk close by, so you can teleport right to that one on the map. Once you're there, simply just follow the quest marker. And if you got your chocobo, it should be very fast in order to get to that location. By the way, if you don't have a chocobo yet, I have a full guide showing you how to do that. So you can check that out. It's gonna be in the description. Anyway, we're gonna continue heading towards the location via our chocobo. Chocobo, and then we're going to approach this little spot over here. And then you'll see the quest destination being nearby, which means we're, we're right by the spot we need to be. And you'll see a bunch of thieves right in front of you. So then you're just going to go ahead and slay the enemies. There's a bunch of small ones and the larger enemies. So as usual, you'll want to prioritize taking down the little enemies so they don't annoy you. Ignition is really good for that. And simply, you're gonna have to deal with the innkeeper, which is a pretty standard enemy. They're just gonna do a bunch of big swings and charge at you. I like to use all my abilities to try to break them as fast as possible. Titan's really good for taking them down. And when they're at the 50% mark, using Garuda is gonna be a good choice as well. Once the innkeeper is completely staggered, you can go ahead and go into your limit break and deal a lot more damage. Once you defeat the innkeeper, you're gonna get an enemy slain showing up on your screen. Showing the spoils you get, you get yourself 280 EXP, 96 AP, and 436 skill. You also get yourself some steel silk and black blood that you can sell for money. Clive will then pick up the luggage that was stolen and it's automatically gonna bring you back to the inn so you don't have to make the trip back. How convenient and how nice of this game to do that for us. After being thanked for the efforts, they ask what they should call you and they say Wyvern. And the last time you heard yourself being called Wyvern was at the beginning of the game. Anyway, once you're done, you're gonna be getting a whetstone as a item to bring back to Blackthorn, which is going to be able to create for you very sharp weapons, but that's not our job. That's going to be up to Blackthorn. So once you're done, you're going to get a little scene walking out of the inn and you're just going to go ahead and open up your map and just head right back towards the hideaway. Once you arrive back, just make your way back towards Blackthorn, which will be indicated right by the quest marker. And Blackthorn's going to be like, what? A whetstone? And then he talks about making a new blade for Clive. And then you'll get the quest complete sign and you'll notice that you get more EXP, so 900 EXP, you get 30 reputation and you'll get something called the Excalibur Design Draft, which is where things start to get exciting and you get a Meteorite, which you can use for upgrading. But this Excalibur Design Draft is where we're really going to start breaking it down. Now, in order to see this design, you're gonna have to click on Blackthorn, hit use the forge and hover over the weapon 
Excalibur. And you'll see that we're gonna need 300 Wyrite, one Grimalkin Hide, one Bomb Eater, and one Scarlet Type. Now, if we zoom in on Grimalkin Hide and Bomb Eater, you'll see that there's a specific symbol on them, indicating that these are gonna be specifically from certain hunts. Let's talk about the first material, Wyrite. This one is one of the most common drops in the game. You can get it from regular enemies, you can get it from enemies in the main story, main story missions, as well as side quests. You can also get them from hunts in the game, and if you progress to a certain point in the game, you can also find them at shops under the materials section. For 300 of these, you're going to spend about 12,000 gil in order to get it. But you should have enough already in your inventory, so it shouldn't be too hard to get the total amount, unless you decided to sell it for gil. One of the first items that you're going to need is the Grimalkin Hide, and this is going to be a rank C hunt on the hunting board. The location for this is going to be the Cattery in Dalmalkia. In order to have this hunt specifically unlocked, you need to complete main quest number 44, which is out of the shadow. Since in order to even craft this weapon, you need to be on main quest 47, you should already have this unlocked if you're already doing this. Let's go ahead and hunt the Grimalkin. In order to hunt the Grimalkin, you want to head over to the obelisk called the Jaw and proceed forward in this area. From here, you want to proceed straight and be able to make a sharp turn at the area that is known as the sickle. So because there's no mini map in the game, just make sure to keep opening up your map if you're having a hard time. When you come out of this area, make sure to immediately turn to the right and go down the pathway from here. Continue going down this pathway and you should be able to see that on your map every time you tap your map menu and follow this road. You should see a, a little bit of stuff or airship materials stick out. Walk past all these enemies and you should be getting closer and closer towards your destination. These ruins should be a good indicator of you're in the right direction. Pass these wild knacks over here and then continue to follow the road by turning left. Once you arrive in this area, you're going to know that you're in the proper location to hunt this monster. So as soon as you arrive, your chocobo is going to react and you can just hop right off and you'll see the Grimalkin right there and the rank will show up that it is a rank C, has 6,100 gil and gives you 10 reputation. So go ahead and take out a bunch of wild knacks. These enemies should be easy to take out. I love using ignition. I do this all the time. You should definitely do this to group up enemies and easily be able to take them out. After you take out the first group, you're gonna have another group of knacks show up. So it's multiple waves. They'll just keep pouring out and all you gotta do is just keep destroying them, slam them into the wall over and over again. And once you finally clear out all of them, then you're going to have the Grimalkin show up to fight you. Now the Grimalkin isn't too hard to fight, so just strategically take out what you need to do via counters and precision dodging. Once you're finally able to defeat the Grimalkin, you will get the indicator on your screen that this notorious mark has been slain. And you'll see that you get 500 experience, 45 AP, 6,100 gil, and 10 reputation. And these spoils will be the Grimalkin Hide, which is one of the main ingredients that we need for our Excalibur weapon. If you enjoy this kind of content, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see my dog do cool attacks like Torgal. <laughs> the next item that we're going to need is the Bomb Ember. Now, in order to get this item, it's also a hunt, you're gonna have to complete Main Quest 47. And guess what? That's what this entire quest of unlocking the Excalibur is around. Quest 47, which is letting off Steam 3. So if you already started off with the Blacksmith Blues 2 quest, you can also do this quest before or even after as you're collecting the material. So what you wanna do is head down to the laboratory or the spot where mid is, and you're going to find someone by the name Owain over here with the plus symbol on their head, which means if you see a plus symbol, it's going to help you on your quest. And Owen's gonna basically talk to you about a fireball or something with great flames that you're gonna pretty much have to take down. He would have gone himself, but you know, he, he just can't handle it because he's not the main character of the game. So this quest will be called Weird Science and it'll give you 40 reputation. So just go ahead and accept that. You're gonna see something that says, use the hunt board to locate the Bomb King. So yes, you're going to fight the classic Final Fantasy enemy, the Bomb King. Because this is a special hunt, you'll see an option when you talk to the Moogle on the hunt board and it'll be highlighted by green, asking about the bomb sightings. So what you wanna do is head over to the Holy Empire of Sunbrick and go to the Obelisk of the Dragon's Airy. Once you arrive at this area, you're just gonna follow this pathway. So call your Chocobo, hop on it, 
And what we're going to do is head straight down into this foresty area. So it's right towards the left and stay along the wall here so you can see exactly where we have to go. So just walk past these enemies, past these airship ruins, pick up anything you see out of habit because I just I always do that. And then as you continue to go deeper in this forest, you're going to see this little stone like structure here and you're going to turn into it with the broken gate. Kind of looks like the Kingdom Hearts style gates, right? Continue going down this pathway and you're going to see a little spot there that you have to turn into called the Croc. So before you enter the main spot, right over here on the left is where you're going to go. Once you turn left here, just continue to go straight down this pathway. Keep going. You're going to see some ruin stuff. And then all of a sudden, this is the location and you're going to hop off your chocobo and this little purple ball on the floor is going to magically possibly come to life and you can see your hunt. That is so creepy and it's ready to go and fight us. There is the bomb king rank B 9000 gil. That's that's a good that's a good amount. Now, this one's going to be interesting because this one, you cannot break its shield at all. It does not have a shield. You're just going to have to constantly do damage. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind about this bomb king is you're going to want to make sure that you have yourself a good amount of AOE abilities. The reason why is because it's going to summon multiple other bombs that are going to be spreading around the area. They don't have as much HP at all. So it's easy to take them down. But if you're solo attacking them, it, they will start to do damage by making giant areas of effect. I did lose my first time like a noob. So I'm going to be honest with you. That's why I'm letting you know about this tip to have AOE stuff ahead of time. So look at how that entire group is there. I'm going to use the Phoenix break right over here to take them all out. Beautiful stuff. And yeah, all of these enemies are gone. They cannot explode. And then you can just finish up this Bomb King. And once you finally slay the Bomb King, you'll get the notification that you have slain the mark and you will see the drops. All the experience will come in. 1,000 experience isn't too bad. 65 AP, 9,000 guild, 20 reputation. And there is the Bomb Ember and is one of the materials we need to craft our Excalibur weapon. So don't forget to complete this quest and turn it in because it does expand your inventory. But we'll talk about that in another video. Now, some of you may have already noticed that you have a Scarletite in your inventory already because before Blacksmith Blues 2, you had to finish Blacksmith Blues 1, which the monster that you hunted actually dropped a Scarletite. Now, if for some reason you sold it or got rid of it, I hope you didn't. You should have held on to it. If you did happen to get rid of it, there is an alternative option. Actually, there's three alternate option hunts that you can use to hunt it down. Now, one is going to be this notorious mark, a hill to die on, the Fasticulon, which is going to be located in the Dalmachia Desert in the Velcroy Desert. This is a hunt that you can do after Main Quest 41, Riddle of the Sands. You should be able to hunt this one down since we're beyond Main Quest 41. Now, if you're further in the game, there's two other harder hunts that are going to be for quests that are further down the line. Is going to be the Ten of Clubs, which is going to be a level 35 hunt and you need to complete main quest 52, things fall apart. And this one's going to be located in Southern Dalmechia. You'll be able to find this one over here. Also, there's going to be another hunt after main quest 56, which is called Cloak and Dagger, which is going to be the Man in Black or the Holy Triumpeter, which is going to be a level 36 hunt. This hunt is going to be in Lost Wing in Sandberg via a Cellar Passage, but it's going to be a lot further in the game. So these three extra hunts beyond the one you already did will be dropping Scarlet Type. We'll be going over these ones in detail in another video. Once you have all the materials you need to craft this weapon, just go back to Blackthorn, open up the menu, select it, and congratulations, you now have the Excalibur weapon, the legendary sword, as one of your own. Now that you know how to get Excalibur, you should probably know how to get this. 